Okay, before I fly, I just thought I'd do a recap. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. First of all, the flight controller, which is inside here, which you may already know I'm using an Arduino Pilot. It's the APM Pro. Got that mounted in the fuselage. And inside here, I'm going to be testing the video system as well. And I've got a 1.3 gigahertz video transmitter right here. And I've just cut a notch and mounted that in there. It's on some Velcro. Down in here, I have a 4-cell 3,000 milliamp hour LiPo. There's the end of it. And then I have a little battery here to run the video transmitter just to keep the signal clean. Cameras mounted up here in the front for now. Later on I'll probably put a pan tilt on it. But for this first test the FPV camera is right here. I'm not going to have an HD camera this time. Okay I've got uh, the props all mounted and balanced and they are counter rotating going this direction like that using the Tyrannus radio right here and for the receiver I'm using Easy UHF which is a long range receiver and there is a dipole antenna 433 megahertz on the rear of the plane way in the back so we're gonna give it a try just fly manual mode line of sight see what happens see if the nose wheel works yeah I'm a little dicey there. Well, this is in me. back a tiny bit. Maybe it'll make it better. Are both your props turning the same way? No. So you notice that takeoff was a mite dicey. So I'll just have to move the battery forward because I think it looked a little tail heavy. The other thing was I forgot to put any DR or Expo on my radio. So I'm doing that now. So I put in 70 here for the weight and 50 for the expo and that is in the uh, inputs menu in fact you can see it right here 70 70 50 50 well let's see how the trims are oh yeah it's wanting to dive trying to find that I gave it a lot of elevator trim just then. That's a little better. See, uh, yeah, it's still wanting to dive, so it needs a lot of more elevator trim. Now you notice during the flight that the plane had a tendency to dive, and that's because I just didn't have enough up elevator dialed in. So after landing, I went and adjusted this clevis to bring the elevator up a little bit because I had the uh, elevator trimmed all the way up and it still wasn't enough so that's when I knew my linkage needed adjustment so that's what I did and it makes it very easy to adjust these clevises with the threaded rod so that's a nice feature whoa look out <laughs> I think, uh, well, I don't know how to explain that one. <laughs> to get that on camera, that's the right, important thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So I found out the nose wheel actually provides great steering. If you can remember to use it, you'll notice on that landing that I kind of forgot to move the rudder stick and it was coming in too close to the spectators. If I'd uh, been more practiced, I probably would have just pulled the stick a little bit to the left and everything would have been okay. Here's the second flight with elevator adjusted and DR and Expo added to the radio. I believe that's better already. You want to see what the flaps do? They're supposedly on now. Yeah, I can feel a lot of drag. 
It's in blooming. Boy, that wind kind of just knocked it around there. Yeah, it's getting very windy. I better get up here a little bit. Yeah, never turned the stabilizer on. No, I haven't turned it on. I might try that. Let's bring it around here. We'll just try it. Okay, here it comes. I'm gonna throw it off a little. All right, that's stabilized mode right there. Looking better, isn't it? That's stabilized mode. I'm gonna let go of the stick. Okay, that's without the stick. I'm not touching anything. Looks like it's going a little to the right, but that could be the wind. I don't know. See if we can come down a little bit. Or... Okay, brief explanation of the OSD. I'm definitely watching this right here. This is the throttle percentage right here, throttle percentage. And then we have the link quality, which is 98% most of the time, so the receiver is working well. This is the number of satellites down here. And then I'm watching the voltage on the battery and the amperage, how much amps I'm pulling. And then up here is the home altitude. That's the height above the ground where I started. Then you've got mean sea level altitude as well. And down here is a roll and pitch. And right here I watch this a lot because this is the mode I'm in. So I'm in stabilized mode right now. So that's briefly what I've got. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention much to the vertical speed here or the coordinates. This is the home arrow up here, which I also wasn't really watching, but uh, this tells you back where home is. Okay, so that's it. Still unstabilized. That's good. It's not as flying as true as a Skywalker, I don't think. But. Now I've throttled down about very low like a third throttle. That's a third throttle. You can see it rocking. But it's bouncing windy. Yeah, yeah, it is real windy. It's so. windy, you know. They say you get about 15 minutes of flight out of it. 15 minutes. That's what they say, but now that I don't know. That sounds awfully long to me. Just watch that tree. Let's see. Whoa! If it's still working, that was pretty rough. Landing gear test. So you saw how hard I hit the ground with the landing gear on that second landing. And I've checked the landing gear over very well, and I didn't see any damage to them at all. So these landing gears seem to be very sturdy. It may be, uh, maybe it needs a little more nose weight. Because, you know, that's what I was thinking. Here I thought it was nose heavy, but I think it's the opposite. So overall, I was happy with the first two flights. I'm glad the stabilization works. At one point I think I had 14 satellites, so I was happy with the GPS. Uh, I think I need to uh, adjust the flaps a little bit. They're too aggressive. I may dial them down to only 50% of what they're doing now. And I need to add some elevator mix in with the flaps because it tends to balloon a little bit. Also, the props stop abruptly when I cut the throttle, so I think I want to remove the brake and so they'll just twirl free that'll help on the landings too I believe yeah I want to move the battery forward because the uh, CG needs to come forward just a little bit I think so that's it for now we'll just uh, I'm gonna take it out and fly it some more after I make some of these mods and work on the FPV part of it a little bit but I was happy with the picture 
the FBV feed looked nice and clear. Didn't see any problems there. Okay, we'll talk to you later.